Welcome back to the next video of Azure Story Account. And in this video, we are going to see the very first security feature by which we can decide who can access or who cannot access our uh, storage account or the containers or the contain uh, inside the container, like the blob, okay? So <clears throat> it's a lab. Uh, so, so, so that I could show you how exactly we can enable it and how it works. So let's go to the storage account on which we were working uh, in the previous video, in the previous to previous video. So click here. And we are going to talk about a feature on the networking, which is uh, if you are working with Azure, so you have noticed this, this feature is almost everywhere or all the past services like app services, SQL database, where we can decide who can access and who cannot access by, by providing the IP addresses or the selected networks. This is the same feature. I guess in app services, it is access restriction, same as in SQL, uh, but don't worry, we'll talk about those features when we'll be talking app services or Azure SQL. But here we are talking the storage account. So let's click under, click on networking. If I click on networking, you can see we have uh, this storage account open for all networks. Okay. We do have the access policies on the blob itself. If you remember in the previous videos, I have showed you access policies, private, unanimous, or container. That's why we cannot access them right now. Uh, but the storage account is open for everyone. We have all also uh, enabled the static website. Let's quickly try to browse it. <clears throat> And also this URL we talked about, it is not the uh, endpoint of your blob storage. This is for the web. That's why we have web.core and these numbers are the regional code. I think I forgot to mention in the previous video. So if I try to access this, uh, you see, uh, we are getting what we have uh, added in the storage account under the web container index.html, which is welcome to Pachera Talks. This is coming from storage account. So this is open for everyone, right? So let's go ahead and, and quickly under the networking hit selected networks. If I hit the selected networks, it will give me the option to select the uh, virtual network that I already have in Azure or uh, public IP addresses, for example, I'm, I'm browsing it from my local machine or my laptop. I could use the public IP address of that laptop. So for now, I'm just, I just click on save so that we can see uh, it will not allow us to access anything or will it? It shouldn't as per the documentation, as per the concept. So let's quickly go ahead and give it a minute Go to overview, click on refresh and go to containers. I can see the containers as of now and there we go. We just lost the access. Now, similarly, if I go and try to browse this web address and I shouldn't have access anymore and there we go. And if you if you notice, I'm not even able to this, this uh, static website on Azure. If you remember in the previous video, we also added the error.html, right? Which was saying this is this is the error page. If if there is 404 error, uh, this will divert <coughs> traffic to error.html page, and it is 404, but it's not even diverting there because there, there's a complete block uh, on the storage account. Nobody can access it. Right, so let's quickly go ahead and add our IP address just to be sure it works. Add the client IP address, click on save. 
it will take a minute or two. It has saved. I have this IP addresses. Now, if I click on the containers before I do that, let me refresh. Okay. Okay, why refresh? Go to networking just to be sure. I have my IP address here. There we go. Click on the containers, go to demo, and I can see my blobs. Let me quickly browse this again. I should be able to browse, and there we go. So that's how we can use this uh, access restriction option under networking by which we can decide who can access it and who cannot access it. We can even add the existing virtual network or new virtual network. And we'll try to do that in the next video. Thank you for watching and you have a good day. Bye-bye.